Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers This is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of developing a CRUD application using AngularJS, Ajax, PHP, MySQL and Bootstrap In my last video uh, we have done or completed the functionality of viewing an individual post in detail If I click on the view page, a view link on each of the blog posts I will be redirected to a different page where I will be getting the detailed complete description of that particular blog post. Okay, So now uh, we will be going to learn the last uh, module of this series which is the delete. This we will be going to learn how we can delete a blog post um, uh, from uh, delete a blog post using AngularJS and using and uh, calling an appropriate uh, RESTful web service API. Okay, So first we need to create another route for this exactly similar to whatever whatever we have done for our previous video we had created a route for uh, uh, for our view link similar to that we have to create a route for this also okay, let's copy and paste it here and then we need to make it as delete delete and here will be the ID. We, we, uh, we need to uh, create a for delete and slash. We need to pass the ID exactly the same way, but we had added for our post. Okay, so whenever a user click on this delete link, uh, delete button, uh, an ID will be sent or uh, sent to the URL, and from that URL, that ID will be received inside our RESTful Web Service API uh, and we'll use that ID uh, to delete the record from the database. Okay, So first let's go to our uh, post.html and here we need to copy the same thing. Let's copy this and paste it here and then change it to delete. Okay, Now by doing that we have assigned an ID um, for that particular post. You know if I refresh and if I uh, put a cursor on this delete button, you can see on the left bottom of the window, you will get a link saying that 127.0.0.1 slash angular js crud slash hash slash delete slash 8. Okay, here at this position, you will see the link. Okay, each uh, link, each uh, button is having an I with a different ID. Okay, so whenever I click on this, I'll be redirected to delete view. Okay, so here we need to change the view as delete. Okay, then here we need to change it as delete controller. Okay, we need to create a, another controller with the name called as delete controller here. Okay, let's copy this. Okay, copy and paste here and change the name of the controller as delete controller okay then we need to change our restful web service api name to delete now we need to create this restful uh, uh, web service api for deleting our record from the database okay now yes everything will be the same and here we need to create HTML. Okay, now let's for time being let's keep it as it is. Okay, now uh, the explanation is same whatever we had done uh, for while creating a view controller. Okay, so we have created an HTML object and into this I have set a URL for our uh, delete RESTful Web Service API which we are going to create just uh, now and we have uh, set a params also um, inside this route uh, we have set an ID okay, which is the ID of the post that we are going to uh, select for deleting okay whenever you click on the this button that ID will get sent to the URL and from the URL that ID will received here and then from here it gets passed to this route params and from this route params that ID will get passed to this uh, store inside this ID and 
this id will be sent to this restful web service api where we can uh, process that id uh, to delete a record from the database okay and from here it will return the response uh, uh, with an appropriate message saying that uh, record deleted successfully or failed to delete a record okay now we need to create a web service api a restful web service api with the name called as get post so come to our web service folder right click on it and click on new file and press ctrl f and then delete dot php okay now open a php tag and we need to uh, call our config um, file first so let's just include that file include once config dot php okay now we need to get the id from the url or our id equals to dollar underscore get and this will be the id okay so this is the id which we are uh, receiving from the url which our id gets selected that id will get uh, passed to url and from the url that id will be received here in this param and from here that id will be sent with the help of this restful web service api to this file called as delete.php okay now we need to check for the emptiness whether that id is having any value or not dollar empty of this id okay if this um, id is having some value then we will be creating an sql uh, variable to store the query delete from table name our table name is tbl post where id equals to this dollar id okay so we have written the query where i am deleting the record uh, of which id of those id which have been selected by this delete button okay so here I'm saying I'm deleting the ID, deleting the post uh, where ID equals to this ID. Okay, now dollar query equals to, and we need to use our configuration object which we have created inside our config folder. Once sorry, config file here you can see we have a connection object here inside our config file. We need to use that config uh, object. To call the query method of it and then inside it we will pass this sql variable okay, then if this query gets executed then we will get a then we will create an array and inside that array we will set status equals to one and message as post deleted successfully okay in else we'll copy this and paste Failed to delete message. Okay, then I will close the MySQL connection. Okay, and I will set the header and content type as application slash json we will be returning the data in the form of json so we'll just encode the message into json format json encode i'll pass the variable result into it okay now we are now we have created our restful web service api for deleting the record from the database and now we need to test this out okay so now we have created a controller 
and inside the controller we have called this delete.php restful web service and now we need to uh, create a view which we have passed here okay inside this delete controller okay here inside this routing we have created a delete controller uh, delete.html and that delete.html we have, we have to create we are, I have already created here inside my templates so inside this template we need to okay then php okay okay this one post and let's go here delete this f1 and okay okay now let's display a message saying that post deleted successfully Okay, now let's save it and now let's come to our page and refresh okay and let's test whether we are successfully able to delete any record or not i'll just click on this delete okay it's displaying post deleted successfully okay, now let's go back to our home page okay now you can see the first post with the title angular.js is no longer visible inside our table that means we are we have successfully deleted that post okay now let's change the view of our uh, delete.html file okay now let's come here copy this and paste it here okay, and delete this okay now here i have changed uh, uh, the markup of my delete.html now I will go to my home page I have deleted few records also and if I click on this delete to delete this WooCommerce post delete it okay now you can see the post has been deleted but it's not showing the messages post deleted successfully okay now let's I will just uh, clear the cache and come back okay now let's refresh our page and I have only two records left on my table I'll click on this coordinator uh, post I'll click on this I'll get a message saying that port post deleted successfully and if I click on back I'll be redirected to my index page okay now I have added a link to my uh, delete.html partial template and yeah that's all yeah, this is how we can uh, delete a record from the database with the help of angular.js and a restful web service api uh, okay so i hope you understood how to create an angular.js crud application using angular.js ajax php mysql and bootstrap okay we had started with uh, downloading our angular.js and uh, bootstrap framework and then we uh, moved on creating directory structures and once we created the directory structures we created the database for it and then we created user and assign privileges to the database and then we started up writing down our angular.js coding and uh, creating our module inside angular.js okay with this module and we have used this module name inside our index dot uh, index dot html with an ng directive ng app equals to crud and we are um, and we successfully managed to display our partial templates with the help of this ng view directive inside our container in our index.html file okay and we learned how to uh, route how to um, establish a routing mechanism using um, a route provider or ng route module inside our passing it as an uh, dependency injection inside our um, inside our module and then we make use of the functionality of that ng route module in our application okay, by creating different routes okay at the end i just forgot to tell you one more one thing um, if none of the route gets satisfied if user has not uh, entered any of this route then i should uh, tell the angular to go to any uh, any uh, 
else uh, to any default route for that i just have to type in dot otherwise okay and bracket okay, then redirect to forward slash okay yeah what does what does this mean is if any user comes here and tries to enter any uh, url like course okay and uh, if a uh, user came and type in course uh, which does uh, which uh, we don't have any url with the uh, we don't have any route with the hell with the name of course in our app dot js file so what it should do so if anyone comes and type in any um, any irrelevant routes then it should take that user to a uh, root of the page okay see I'll just save it save it and let's okay see if anyone comes and type in student then it's taking the user to the home page instead of uh, showing page not found or any kind of uh, uh, page any other page it's taking that person to the index page whatever uh, page, uh, page uh, title or url the user tries to enter it's taking that user to the index page okay so otherwise we can uh, redirect that user to uh, root of our website yeah so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information on angular js creating a restful web service apis using php and uh, use and uh, integrating those web service apis with angular js and calling different kinds of uh, web service apis creating different web service apis for creating uh, deleting and viewing the data and fetching the data from the database yeah, i hope you got some useful information out of this video tutorial series i will uh, strongly recommend you guys to watch this complete tutorial series then only you will be going to able to understand uh, each and every concept of it uh, if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button share it with your friends and yeah we will see you guys in our next videos where we will be uh, covering some different topics and yeah thanks for watching guys